let's do the work. <laughs> so what, is, what did you read for statement number one? And thank you for being so courageous. Yeah. Um, my statement number one said I am angry with, can I just call her her? Yes. <laughs> I highly recommend it. <laughs> because she abandoned me. Okay, uh, so audience, listen to this as though he wrote it to you. As though he wrote it not to you, but on you. How many of you <clears throat> have ever abandoned someone? Would you raise your hands? Yeah, so he did. <clears throat> okay. So she abandoned you. <clears throat> and what is the situation? Girlfriend. That moment, that moment in time that mm -hmm. you're meditating on. Oh, I um, give her a call, and uh, she tells me, "Let's wait to so we can FaceTime. So when you get off the bike, get home, give me a call. Want to check in? I say okay. I obviously felt something was there, but I like the word check in. I get home, uh, give her a call, and uh, it was simply put saying, look, I'm not feeling the connection. I think we should break up. And uh, she was on a road trip across the, the US. Okay, so, you, um, so you're on the phone with her, and she's saying what she did to you, and then you had the thought she abandoned me. Yes. Okay. So in that situation, are you, you're on the phone, the cell phone, are you sitting, are you standing? I'm sitting on my bed. Okay. So you're in the bedroom, on the bed, sitting. Everyone see him in the bedroom? Okay. So if there are 2,500 people here, there are 2,500 different hymns, 2,500 different bedrooms. This is going on all the time. I mean, when you hear someone talk, it's just a sleepness. So let's wake up, okay? So in that situation, you're sitting on your bed, and we can all join him there as though it, you know, get as close as you can to it. She abandoned you. Mm -hmm. Is it true? Now, there are only four questions we're dealing with. And the first two are simple. They're, uh, they're one syllable. It's either yes or no. And you don't have to guess. You're meditating on a moment in time. And it will show you the answer. So in the bedroom, on the bed, on the phone, she abandoned you. Is it true? Yes. So one syllable, that's good. She abandoned you. The first two questions used to be, it used to be three questions. But I thought I'd give people another shot at it, so I spread the first one out to two. <laughs> it's, it's like, can you really know that it's true that she abandoned you? Now, you consider the same thing. You're on the bed. You hear her words, so it could still be yes, but listen, and don't go into, oh, no, like the answer is supposed to be no. It's not going to work for you. Let it show you. She abandoned you. Can you really know that it's true? Can you absolutely know that it's true she abandoned you? Yes. Now, notice on the phone, when you believe that thought, how you react when you believe the thought she abandoned you. At the time, how I reacted? Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about emotionally. Um, I felt that uh, coming. Where did you feel it coming? My gut. In your gut, okay. So you felt it in your gut. 
And I, when I heard it, I was like, instinct was right. And so, the, in a sentence, the situation was, we had been together, but then I traveled for a month. And then when I came back, she traveled for a few, a couple of two weeks. And but it was perfect before. But then in between that month and two weeks, it was one day where we met. And then when she went over the two, over those two weeks, she just chose to cut it off because there was nothing so going into that So you're doing everything but answering the question. <laughs> Could you repeat the question? Yeah, but, but I can. Thank goodness there's only four. Let's see. How do you react? What happened? How do you react when you had the thought she abandoned me? So I... So close your eyes. Get in touch with yourself. And just notice any, any reactions in your gut. I was looking for a reconsideration. Mm -hmm. So I told her, there are three things we could do. One, we could talk about it. So you began to bargain. Yes, I bargained. Yeah. And you continued to have the thought, no matter what you say or do, she abandoned me. Yeah. Okay, so uh, ultimately... Yeah. Ultimately, she did. Okay, so in that situation, when ultimately she did, how did you react when you believed the thought she abandoned me? Uh, I was calm. I said, okay, bye. And I closed, the, hung up. And I uh, just was crippled inside a little bit. So you faked it? I faked it? You faked it. Probably. Well, go back and see. This isn't my work. <laughs> so I, I didn't tell her, hey, you're abandoning me. I was like, that's, that's your no, choice. No, you didn't say it. No, you I were very it. cool. Yeah. And then? And then it... Uh, kicked in. And then it kicked in, yes. Yeah, okay. So she abandoned you. Now close your eyes. Look at you on the bed. You see the walls? Any pictures on the walls? Is there a window? Uh, on my left is a window painting in front of me. Okay, so just, just drop, she abandoned me. Drop your story. Look at you without the story. Are you okay? Is everything good? Other than what you're thinking and believing. Look at that guy. No, I was not okay. I was Other than what you were thinking and believing? I see a um, man sitting on the bed. Yeah, but besides that, I was, everything else was good outside of what a you new missing and piece, a new, re a new reality. So in reality, you were fine with what you were thinking and believing was overriding. So, so you're doing really well. Wherever you are, okay, let's turn around. She abandoned me. So, what's an opposite? Uh, she would. What's the opposite of abandon me? Of abandon is. She uh, stayed with you. Work out, yeah. She stayed with you. That's the opposite of Fix abandonment? For my word was um, look to fix, look to. High things versus. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's let's play with. I, I hear that. Let's because I have more experience here. Okay, she abandoned me. She stayed with me, and where I went with that from my own experience is, how long ago did this happen? Three weeks ago. Okay, and for three weeks she's been in your head. Yes. She's staying with you. Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah, she just stays there, and she stays there, and. She stays there and you remain in your bedroom and remain in your bedroom and on the phone call. Anyway, she stays with you for many mm -hmm. reasons. Okay, let's look at statement two. I want her to be considerate about me and look for ways to fix the relationship. Okay, and let's see how much time we have. I don't know what that means. We'll keep going. 
What, honey? Oh, good. Okay, so I want her to be considerate about me and look for ways to fix the relationship. Okay? Is it true? Look on your folders. You know those people you want to come back to you? Really? <laughs> it's like, I want her to be considerate about me and look for ways to fix the relationship. Is it true? That's, I'd love you to just, just take that question with you in your life. Is it true? Consider. So you can meditate on, is it true? I want her to um, look for ways to fix the relationship. You might just meditate on that just throughout an entire day. And notice how you react, what happens when you think that thought. What happens when you think that thought? I mean, I'd want her to fix things. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it take you back to the phone call? It does. Yeah, so it puts you back in time. Yes, it does. Yeah. And then the emotions, and you see you there, and you experience the hurt again. It does, yes. Yeah. So, who would you be if you never had that thought again? I want her to be considered about me and look for ways to fix the relationship. Imagine your life without that thought. I'd be freer. Yeah, that works for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, that could be better than a girlfriend. <laughs> Just freer. And when you're holding that and and you meet another girl, well, she doesn't measure up to her. Mm. You know. So, comparison, you know, every woman is perfect if you don't compare. Isn't that fabulous? <laughs> I'd, <laughs> I'd love you all to know that if you did not, like, how many of you find a occasionally find flaws with your body. Would you raise your hand? <laughs> okay, if you did not compare, without comparison, do you have the perfect body? I mean, really, no fooling around? So everyone has the perfect body other than what you're thinking, comparison, basically. So um, I want her to, con to be considerate about me and look for ways to fix the relationship. I want her to uh, look for ways to fix the relationship. Turn that portion around. I don't want. I don't want her. I don't want her to fix the relationship? Yes. <laughs> I don't want her to find ways to fix the relationship. Now, when you turn your, your um, judgments around, you find opposites. And it's like trying on a new pair of shoes. You know, does it fit? And you just open your minds and explore it. So knowing her on that one date the way you do, why is it? What is it about that experience that you don't that would make you not want to, her to fix the relationship? The fact that the surprise of not knowing when this might happen again mm. makes me not even want to get into it at all. Yeah, but with her specifically. Well, I guess she would fall into that category, huh? Because she's done it. Yeah. Yeah. Look to leave when there was no re no argument, no nothing concrete outside of young, fleeting 
discomfort or something and then just yeah okay so you explore it so um so here's a here's a turnaround try this one on i want me to be considerate about me and look for ways not to fix that relationship with her in my head. That's uh, true. <laughs> so that's, you're easy to deal with and someone that doesn't, won't speak to you. I'm easy to deal with? You're someone. easier to deal with than someone that won't speak to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're into some possibles. And you're handy dandy. You're there with you. You wake up with you. You go to sleep with you. <laughs> take you to a movie. Give you a little lunch. True. Company, other than what you're thinking and believing. That's true. Yeah. But we wake up in the morning with, she left me. <laughs> no, not great company. Yeah. Who would you be? What would you be? You know, <laughs> thoughts aren't necessary. I could say more about that, but I'm going to keep this simple. Let's look at statement three. She should be compassionate and consider the great times we had. So on the phone with her, is that true? That she should be compassionate and consider the great times you had? Is that true? She wasn't. I... Well, well, let's look at it. Is it, is it true that she should, con be, should be compassionate and consider the great times? I, I think it's true, yes. And did she? No. So who needs God when you have your opinion? I'm sorry? <laughs> who needs God when I have my opinion? Yeah, it's like she doesn't want to, but... <laughs> I like her. That doesn't matter to me what she wants. Can you hear that? It's like, I don't care what she wants. I want her to be compassionate. Yes. I could care less if she doesn't want to be with me. She should yeah. consider the great times we had. Yes. <laughs> I see a lot I mean, lack of that's, empathy there's here. something off there. It's hard to convince someone you really like them when that's what's going on. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, um, who would you be on the phone without her, uh, without that thought about her, that she should be compassionate and consider the great times you had? So who? who would you be without the thought, just sitting on the bed, without the thought, her on the phone? Again, freer. Yeah. And hearing her voice as though it were the last sound you'd ever hear of her, and it was. <laughs> I mean, when you really care about someone, you don't want to miss it. But we're busy. She should be, you know, she should be compassionate and consider great. So we're not really listening to what could be. Yes. Really important. It's a beautiful thing. Really beautiful thing. That I'm not listening? <laughs> to listen. It is. But you were busy believing this. She should be compassionate yes. because of the great times we've had. So, so it overrides reality. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So um, I should be. Let's try the opposite. In that situation, I should be. And read what you wrote. I should be compassionate. Compassionate and consider the great times we had. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but you just want more, more, more from someone that's not going there. 
We wonder why relationships don't work. We wonder why we're hurt. You know, let's say no one can hurt me, that's my job. If I'm hurt, I look to me. I've done that, it's what I'm thinking and believing. It cannot be another human being. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. So, um, let's look at the next one. I need her to say that we haven't been who we can be and want to be, and that we should take a step back and try again. So you need her to say that. You're sitting on the bed, she's on the phone, she's telling you her truth. You hear her? Yes. And then you believe that so you need her to say that the two of you haven't been the best you can be together, that you want to be, and should take a, um, a, step, a step back and try again. That's, that's what I would have wished to hear. Yeah. So you, to be happy, you need that. Is it true? To be happy, I need that? Mm -hmm. No, because there's a bigger world out there, but within that one moment, one reality, if the scope of everything was down to that one relationship, mm -hmm. then yes, mm -hmm. but. And it wasn't, she's having no piece of it on that conversation. No. Okay, so, so how do you react when you, on the phone, when you believe the thought? She takes, should take a step back and try again, and she's ending it? Yes. How do you react? How, how did I react? I felt uh, disappointed. Yeah, disappointed is a better word. Okay, so again, who would you be without the thought? She should take a step back and try again. Would I be? Who would you be? Who would I be? Yeah. So close your eyes. See you, see you there? Yeah. She's saying goodbye. Mm -hmm. Who would you be without the thought? We should take a step back and try again. Cold-hearted. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, what about a really good listener? I mean, that was your last conversation with her, and you say you care about her. Yeah. This was just all about you and what you wanted, and you're not listening to this woman. That's true. So turn it around. I should take a step back and try again. As opposed to we should take a, a step back and try again. I should take a step back and try again, listening to her. But when the conversation ends, which was how I felt after it, like at that moment, try again what? Well, what about, what about right now? Take a step back and try again to see it her way, if you care about her. That would be different. That way, if you run into her again, and, and, and she said, oh, how are you? I'm so happy. You can thank you for that. You let her go. Yeah. And rather than losing something like it's taken from you, you you're giving. The life of a listener, in other words, connected connected. You know, a man put a gun in my stomach one night, and, and um, I was walking in the, on a full moon in the night, alone, and, and I guess I frightened him or something, and I didn't know anyone was for miles. But anyway, he put this gun in my stomach, and it was a full moon, it was so amazingly beautiful, and the clouds, and it was still, and there was a river running, and, and he 
pulled the hammer back and he said, I'm going to kill you. He wasn't that polite. He had other words with it too. And I looked into his eyes and I, you see, it's like that phone call. It, it may be the last human being I ever see. Who wants to miss a moment of it? And I could see him, he looked very frightened to me. And I could see the clouds and the moon and it was, it was, it was an amazing night. It was beautiful. You know, Every moment is the last moment of our life, and who wants to miss it? When we're not connected, we're missing it. When we're connected, we're connected. And, you know, I had no idea whether he would pull the trigger or not, because that's not something I could do anything about in that situation. Who knows? You know, I love, love that question, is it true? And I had it with me. <laughs> it's user-friendly. <laughs> so he said, I'm going to kill you. And maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. But I'm not going to miss those, that last connection. Just like the sound of her voice. And he didn't pull the trigger, but... Um, um, I don't want to miss my life. That's the bottom line. He was a beautiful man, frightened man. No one would harm another human being if they weren't confused. Just like she was. Anyway, let's look at the next one. Let's look at statement five. She is a coward. She ran away uh, the first chance she got. OK, so she's a coward. Is that true? No. OK, you feel that? So nice just to sit in and allow that no to expand you, to show you, to educate you. You know, this is personal work. So she's a coward. How does it feel inside of you when you think that thought? And how do you react on the phone when you believe that thought? She's a coward. At the time, mm -hmm. 10 minutes ago, or just right now? <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so she's a coward. Let's just, let's just turn it around. OK. In that situation, I am? I'm, I'm a coward. Yeah, so give me an example. Where were you a coward in that situation? I didn't take the time to deeply understand what it is that was that had pushed her away or led her to that phone call. Those are great conversations. Great con have, have that conversation with me. You be, you be her breaking up and I'll be you. You, be, you say what she said to me and we'll have that conversation. You be her breaking up with me. So I'm gonna reenact the, the scenario? Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me a moment. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to hear from the cruel coward. <laughs> so I'd like to check in on our relationship. I feel that we communicate differently, like different things. and that we just are not connected. And I think it's better if we part ways. Well, you know, that shocks me. I feel so connected with you. I want this relationship to go on and on and on. So tell me, what is it about me that, that, um, that is there anything about me that um, I should know? I don't want to pass this on any further. Hmm. I can't explain it. It's... What is it about it, me that you don't like? I just feel that after 
being together for um, four months that I'd expect to be more connected, but I don't. Well, you know, that makes sense. I feel more connected, you feel less. Is there anything I can do to change that? Not that I could, but I am interested. I don't know. I think we are, we communicate fundamentally differently. Come you, know what I, different you know what I appreciate about you? You're, you're so straightforward and honest. I really respect that. And I love that you tell me sooner rather than later. I really respect that. So I look forward to us being friends for a long time, and you have my phone number, and, um, and you know, what a great relationship we have. This is exactly how the conversation went. <laughs> <laughs> But here I am, three, three weeks later. But the difference is, you didn't mean it. <laughs> That's true. One of us was honest. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it's like as human beings, that's the best the best we've got going for us sometimes is we pretend and we hide our feelings. And what I love about inquiry is we collect these thoughts and judgments from our past. And then when we're speaking out of it, we're coming out of something that's authentic. It's real. And I... I love that for you. Let's look at the last one. Well, you know, she, she's a coward. She ran away. The first chance she got, let's turn it around. I am. I am a... I am a coward. I'm a coward. I ran away. The first chance oh. I got. I had the first chance I got. Yeah. She said something you didn't like, and you... Um, run away from that relationship in your heart, in your head. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, I have an, another expression. It's uh, n no one can leave me. They don't. That's, that just can't happen. Because they live here. And the heart is a symbol for that. Yeah. No one can leave me. Hold the whole world here. Do you love it yet? That's the only question. I do. Yeah. Let's look at the next one, really. <laughs> I don't ever want to be surprised by an abandonment. Okay, I'm willing to. I'm willing to be surprised. I'm willing to be surprised by an abandonment. Uh -huh, I look forward to. <laughs> I can say it, but... Yeah. Well, it's... it's it's like, I don't ever want to be surprised by abandonment. Yes. Okay. So if, no, if people never abandon you again, which she did not, she told you clearly. But if you ever feel abandoned again, it gives you the opportunity to do another worksheet. <laughs> it's not done until it's done. If the whole world says, we don't like you, we're all that's left of the world, and you're unacceptable, are you happy? That's all you need to know. Are you lonely? Are you alone? But we are who you believe us to be. And if you're lonely, look to yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I'm, I look forward to? I look forward to be surprised by an abandonment. Yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? It's very exciting. Yeah, yeah. So you just walk through the world because if it doesn't happen and what you see is the world, it happens here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>